Gadget Jeff. Beep well, hello, 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 YouTube. I know it's been a while since my last video. Sorry, I got busy with some other business ventures. However, I'm back. Today is gonna to be 80 degrees here in Seattle, the first nice warm day we've had in about 10 months. What better way to enjoy technically the first day of summer than to be out on the water on some sea dews. My girlfriend and I are headed down to a local lake here called Lake Taps, but the star of the episode is this awesome chair mounted on the back of my sea dew. This is called the Bopensky Water Sports Kickback Chair, and it's a two-legged, collapsible, and portable chair that you can attach onto the back of your sea dew wave runner jet ski whatever personal watercraft you have and it allows you to do exactly that hang out kick back when you're out on the lake and you're done you know going 100 miles an hour around for the day and you just want to have lunch hang out with your girl or your boys and uh you can kick it kick back chair now when you first get the kickback chair, there is some initial setup uh, and fine tuning to get it adjusted for your specific personal watercraft. Now, there's three different ways to mount this onto the back of your personal watercraft, depending on what model you have. They have this hook here that would normally attach to like a ski, uh, ski hook or tow hook mounted either down here or back here. But because I have sea -Doo wake additions, I don't have that. I have a ski pylon that comes up and luckily the chair still is able to attach to this type of sea -Doo. One of the many things I was excited about for this kickback chair is the quick setup time. After you initially get it, get everything fine-tuned for your specific jet ski, you never have to adjust it ever again. And the setup time is really quick. You would just stand it up, unfold the legs, lock the back into place, bring up the back side here, lock those into place, lift up my pylon, I'm gonna slide Slide it over like that, get the feet right in place, drop the pylon down a little bit, and then there's a hook on the back here that stretches, that keeps the rear feet, let me show you here, that keeps the rear feet from sliding forward. So this part just locks onto the back, there's adjustments here, but like I said, once it's all set up, there we go. According to the instructions, you want the chair to be leaning about 10 degrees forward. So when you actually sit down on the chair and all the straps tighten up, it sits level. So here we go. Now one concern I have that we'll see how it goes is how easy is it to set up when you're actually on the water and there's two people and you're fighting some waves. I wanna see how easy it is to set up, but I think it'll go pretty well. We'll see. Over the river and through the woods. Right? In her phone, as always. <laughs> Constantly on the gram. It's not Father's Day. No excuses. Lake Taps County Park. Because of COVID, the main park isn't open. However, the boat launch is. Doesn't look like there's that many people here today. All right, so on the instructions, they show you how to have this thing set up in tow. So before you're actually gonna use it, you can attach it to the back of your jet ski, cruise out to where you're gonna use it, and then set it up. So they talk about just collapsing the chair, putting it over like you would if you were just setting it up normally. And then they include these two bungee straps that you use to run under here and secure it like so. All right, we made it. Lake Taps. Cruising, not many people out. But the mountain is out. Check out that beast, Mount Rainier. All right. Suck up here. Oh! Lose my phone. Kick 
Right, moment of truth, we're here at our cove. Unfold the chair. They say one minute setup time. Let's see if we can beat that. Lock in the back, lock in the top, lock in the back back here. Make sure that hook is on. Of course, there's a wakeboard boat. Those are always fun. Beating waves. We'll get the front here pulled over. Drop this down. I think we're set to go. So now we're gonna have our, our guinea pig. Give it a shot. The weight limit of this chair is 225 pounds, so the real test will be when I sit on it, because I'm 245 pounds, so we'll see if that's accurate. <laughs> Put your what, a buck 20? Yeah. Buck 20? Yeah. All right, I'll go left. I'll just push you in so we can... <laughs> And, da da da, you're in. It's holding ya. Is it comfy? Yeah. Gives us a lot more room here. Now I can have my feet up. Cool. What's that? Get my big toes on there? Isn't that cool? I would say, if you were gonna fall off, you would've fallen off by now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is. Does it feel sturdy? All right, maybe we'll swap places here and see if it holds 225. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. It's kind of scary. Oh yeah. How's this it feel? Nice. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. I like how you're kind of off the back end a little bit. It's kind of eerie, but I can get used to this. I just need a Coors <laughs> or something. This is great. <laughs> All right, taking up the little drone, get some aerial shots. Be a little sketch launching this thing from the jet ski, but hopefully it doesn't become an expensive lesson. Luckily we have the room now to be able to launch this little sucker. All right. Right, so we've been on the kickback chair for about an hour now. Yep. And that feels good. How many people have been asking about it? Uh, three. Three people so far. One guy said it's the coolest accessory he's seen on the lake so far. You only see that kind of stuff here on Gadget Jeff TV. <sighs> Woo! What a shitty day. This sucks. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's the worst. It's the worst day ever. Could be better. <laughs> well, this chair is amazing. We got five people so far asking about it. Wish I had something to sell on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, all in all, kickback chair was a success. We almost got locked in the park. Park closes at what? Seven, seven o'clock and we lost track of time. Yeah, it's about seven now. We lost track of time on the kickback chair had to haul ass back here in choppy water. But we're loaded up, we're ready to go. And a quick rundown of what you get in the purchase. You get a Bopensky water sports carrying bag. You get some instructions, some bungee cords that have locks on them that I showed you how to attach it when you're in, uh, when you're taking the chair in tow. And then you get two uh, 
drink koozies, which is kind of a nice touch. So there you have it. I also wanted to mention that this thing is a jet ski accessory or personal watercraft accessory. It's not really a, a chair that you could use for any other reason. It's designed specifically for a jet ski. And they run about $139. If you want to know more information, I'll put a link below to where you can get it on Amazon as well as you can go to the company's website, bopensky.com, and it's a got all the features and if, if you want to reach out to them well guys i hope you enjoyed today's video on the bopensky kickback chair this thing is awesome we got tons of inquiries about it on the lake super comfy just freed up a lot of room for my girlfriend and i to hang out on the lake you know a lot of people on jet skis just haul ass around all the time doing 50 miles an hour and spins which is fun but i'm more of a guy that likes to kind of go out there when I'm done cruising around and then just chill, you know, and this chair allows you to do just that. Now, a couple things about the chair. It has a dual cup holder, which I didn't mention, which is really nice, not just for one, but for two drinks. Uh, it's made out of anodized uh, aluminum and all stainless steel hardware. So this thing's built to last in fresh or salt water. And again, the weight limit, it says, is 225 pounds. I'm 225 pounds, maybe 224, I think and it held me no problem. So this thing is quality. 